Iowa's sports leader. This is KCCI 8 Sports. Every year, thousands of Iowa high school kids start their wrestling season dreaming of making it to this weekend. They all hope to win a state title in one of 14 weight classes and one of three school classes in the nation's hotbed of wrestling. As of now, 84 grapplers remain in the title hunt. Scott Reister is live at Wells Fargo Arena to show us who survived the semifinals. Andy, it was an absolute madhouse behind me in the mats here at Wells Fargo Arena as we whittled the field down, as you said, to the championship matchups, which are set for Saturday. Let's take a look back at a wild day on the mats here with all the semifinal action. What an ending at 126. With 30 seconds left, PCM's Tristan Clark trailed Bryce Everson of Comanche by one. And Clark spins around and gets the go ahead takedown, winds up winning 9 6 to advance to his first ever state title match. I never thought I'd be here. It's amazing. It's everything I've always wanted. At 132, Citerville's Bradley Irwin has Chase Leinard of Crestwood on one leg and now no legs. Down he goes. Irwin wins 5 3. 138, Spencer Ray of Crescent Orient Maxburg defeats Solon's Cole Fritz in style. And you got to feel good at 145 for Bonnerette Ferrars, Caleb Coleman. Squeaks past Tyler Thomas of Crestwood 4 3. Coleman, a senior, reaches his first ever state title match. It feels great. It's been a goal, lifetime goal of mine. Pretty surreal feeling. At 160, ADM Zach Johnston. Edges Colton Randy of Central Decatur Lee on 5 4. Johnson will face Chase Schultz of Crescent Orient Massburg for the title. That means everything, everything up until this point. Doesn't matter. This final match is all that matters. 182. That's how good is Joe T. Showing off his moves. He beats Riley Haskin of Waller 4 2. At 220, Albius Carter Isley waited all year to make it back to the final, which he lost last season. He'll get his shot. He defeated Crescent Orient Massburg's Caden Hewlett 2 zip. Oh, yeah. During practice all year. My coach is like, second place, how's it feel, how's it feel? Then that makes me just want to go harder, train harder, keep going, keep going, practice harder. 285, Ballard senior Alex Silverstein trying to pin Solon's Logan Linderbaum. No pin, but still a win. Four zip. In the 1A semifinals, at 106, Clarion's Justin Portillo gets the takedown. He moves on to the finals. At 126, his brother Josh Portillo, he gets the pin. And we've got the two brothers advancing to Saturday's finals. At 120, West Marshall's Cole Needham, the junior, will get his first shot at a title. He moves on with a tech fall. At 170, West Marshall's Dale Hillman also advanced to the final. And what a finish at 132. Clarion's Joel Haberman gets the takedown in the closing seconds to win 6 4. Well, I got here last year and fell short. So that really bites you in the rear. So it feels good to be back. Early this afternoon, Class 3A semifinals. At 120, here's a question. Would you trade a kick in the head for a spot in the finals? That's the deal Grant Stotts out of Valley got. He's in gray, and in overtime, Noah Adram of Lindmar tries to get the escape point by kicking Stotts in the noggin repeatedly. That's a penalty, so Stotts is awarded a point, and he advances to the title round. I wasn't letting go of it no matter what. He, he could have kept kicking me. I would have held on to it. At 170, defending champ Isaiah Patton from Dowling survives a 2-1 decision. He is on to the final. At 220, defending champ Ethan Anderson of Southeast Polk tops Cole Baker from DCG in an 8-3 decision. Anderson, one of six Rams advancing to the title round. So we've seen guys getting kicked in the head, dreams being shattered, dreams coming true, and it all wraps up with the Grand March starting at 6 o'clock on these mats behind me on Saturday night. But for now, live at Wells Fargo Arena with Tony Seam and Scott Reister. Andy, let's go back to you in the studio. All right, guys, great job out there. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the updated team standings right now, beginning in Class 1A. Alvernet with a big lead, 114 points ahead of Clarion Goldfield Dow. Southeast Warren is in fourth place. In 2A, Union. With a narrow lead, Creston Orient Maxburg trying to win the team title. They're just five points behind. Crestwood and Clear Lake, fourth and fifth. Mediapolis is in third. And in 3A, Southeast Polk, huge lead over Bettendorf. Fort Dodge, solid in third. Dowling is in fifth place.